That could be Cosmo in that avatar. He has the six toes on his hind feet that Cosmo had. And he, uh, he loves to grab my scarf or anything I wear that might be hanging down. I've yet to touch him. But he's on the walks with us and, of course, getting fed. There's Biggie, 11 years old, and uh, been with me for 10. Estrella, I think she's even older than Biggie. And then Tiger's around here somewhere. She's probably about 5 or 6. So, yeah, I was just going to talk about moderation it's kind of an all or none world we live in and uh, one of our big big issues is food <laughs> it's the food and um, I think the best thing to do is just be moderate you know you decide what you want to eat if you want to eat animals that's up to you you know I don't like the concept and um, I don't think it's necessary. And I think if you believe it, then it's true. Because you see interviews with these people that are over 100 years old and they ask them about their diet always. And it's varied. There's no one consistent centurion diet. He's been grabbing my robe, walking in my bathrobe. Uh, so yeah, it seems like people who live that long, if you want to, you know, I don't, to me, if you live 70 years compared to 100, this is such a small blip in the big picture that it, um, uh, that's not really significant at all. I mean, if you want to hang out in this realm till you're 100, cool. You can manifest that. I notice that those people, they're usually slim. You don't see fat centurions, obese centurions. And they're usually active. They're not just sitting around eating Cheetos and drinking sodas. So, yeah, I mean... It's just common sense. Dog, stop it. <laughs> he keeps biting my robe exactly like Cosmo used to do. Um, Cosmo was my dear, dear dog that passed away in April. And this dog looks exactly like Cosmo's mother. I'll find a picture. But, um, yeah, this dog distracted me from what I was saying. But, uh, yeah, food, it's a matter of moderation. You moderate everything. And we're all chasing that dopamine rush. You know, some of us do it with hardcore drugs. Some of us do it with alcohol. Some of us do it with pharmaceuticals. Some of us do it with shopping. Some of us do it with porn. Some of us do it with eating. Some of us do it with video games. Some of us do it with just media in general. You need to stop it. I can't even walk. But, um, yeah. Moderation. And yesterday's video was about excess. So, uh, there's a picture that you didn't see in the 60s, 70s, 80s. <laughs> We've had cloudy days, so they get a nice day, and then you see the spray. But hopefully, it'll just dissipate and not become spray clouds. Spray clouds are no fun. I don't like them. But yeah, lots of digressing on this little walk and talk. I appreciate everyone who's here and listens to my ramblings and comments and sends me love, and even those that send me hate, 
doesn't matter when you send energy my way it's energy and it's uh, utilized and if it needs to be it's transmuted into positive uh, magical energy so all is good but uh yeah so i've been back and forth on the food thing and you know i'm basically a poster child for eating disorders but I really think the best thing to do is intermittent fasting. Uh, eat within an eight hour window every day or less. And it really doesn't matter what you eat. You'll keep your system cleaned out that way. And the more natural and whole foods that you eat, the easier things are to digest, the better. If you eat something that makes you tired, that's not really what you want. Unless you're just eating so you can take a nap. But uh, if you want energy, notice the foods that give you energy. And whatever, it is so much mental. If you believe it, then it's true. And I've seen that over and over again, too. You know, these people that are healthy and fit and looking younger every day, and they all have a different story of how they got there because they got there from their beliefs. <laughs> That's how this reality works. And that's super cool. Super cool. So, yeah. If you believe it, then it's true. And that goes with everything, you know. If you believe you're going to have hardship and nothing ever works out for you, then that will be true too. So you really do have to focus on how you want things to be. You know, I know I say that all the time. And uh, it's true. So true. And uh, <clears throat> I, I can't even fathom the mindset that I had, what, I guess, seven, eight years ago, as recent as eight years ago, with regard to uh, wallowing in misery compared to... You quit grabbing my robe wallowing in gratitude and just the loving giving spirit that's what we need to wallow in not in the poor me <laughs> puppies I think he's probably about four months old but uh, yeah wallow in gratitude believe in what you want to Believe in yourself, whatever you want to achieve, feel how it'll feel, make some, make some movements in that direction. Stop it, good boy George. I don't know what to name him, that's what I'm calling him now, good boy George. <laughs> and uh, focus on what you want, focus on what you want, focus on what you want. That's how it works. And hope everybody's having a great morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are. Thank you again, those that actually listen to this and reply. And, uh, yeah, just sending that energy. It's all good. This life is just amazing. This time that we're in is phenomenal. And, uh, yeah, how good can it get, right? All right. Uh, I don't need to say any of those things again. <laughs> Always help others when you can. Talk to you next time. <laughs> ciao, ciao.